there we go welcome to the last rites once again if you can drop a subscribe it'll be nice and lovely and helpful to the channel thank you so much diddy diddy the diddler allegedly allegedly presumed innocent of course um presumed innocent diddler is uh gonna be in, appear in court again to demand a release from jail ahead of sex trafficking trial in new york city so this is the third time he's gonna offer bail he spent three weeks behind bars after his initial two requests were denied yeah because witness intimidation and a danger to people especially women and things uh isn't good plus gun felonies and all the rest of it he was charged with a host of sex trafficking racketeering offenses following his september 16th arrest it's then upwards of 120 victims not one not two 120 victims have really come forward already come forward but did he maintain his innocence and demanding a trial? I mean, who calls himself? He's gone over his names before. Love, P. Diddy, Puff, Puffy. They're all suspect. Diddy? Get out of it. Um, but in addition, did his lawyers are also concerned about government leaks involving Cassie Ventura. So if you remember the hotel video, which came out at the time of the lawsuit from her sort of last November, I think. Did his lawyers have filed a motion for an evidentiary, evidentiary hearing accusing the government of leaking sensitive information on the case? Concerns have been raised about how surveillance footage of Diddy beating his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura was made public. Did his attorney said a series of unlawful government leaks which have led to damaging highly prejudicial pre-trial publicity that can only take the jury pool and deprive, deprive Mr Combs of his right to a fair trial. The thing is, I don't think that stands up because he's not going to watch the whole thing, but he's there uh, kicking kicking the shit out of her in a hotel lobby he's done it there's tons of other cases what about 9-11 we all saw the planes go into the buildings right this i don't think this is really biasing a jury it's an oh that we see in the same evidence and yeah there's no dispute over this but they're saying the government leaks it basically cassie could still be called to testify as a star witness during the trial despite allegedly signing an nda the singer settled a suit with Diddy back in November, but a bravery in coming forward is widely considered a catalyst into further investigations in Diddy's favour. Yeah, it seems like this kicks it off. Um, she claims that Diddy brutally beat her and abused her in all kinds of ways for over a decade throughout the torture relationship. I didn't even know it was over 10 years, to be honest. It's grim. Grim times. And there he is. Apolo By the way, he made a video apologising for kicking the head in, so he's already admitted some kind of crime, right? And this is supposed to be the thin end of the wedge with it really going on for years. So, yeah. Also, he's in, like, nice socks in his towel now. His towel doesn't even fall off while he's doing this. He's used to doing this. It's like his judo outfit. It's the one he uses to beat up his girlfriends and other other people. Um, so, yeah, there's lots more stuff going on, obviously. And this is, did the US government leak it? Just let cameras in the Fed trials come on. Or court appearances. Yes, yeah, so it's the same thing. We've seen the video. The most likely source, as his lawyer said, is the government. The government knew what it had. A frankly deplorable video. Yeah, a deplorable video, that's right. Recording of Sean Combs in a towel, hitting, kicking and dragging a woman in full view of the camera in the hallway of the hotel. Victim one is not a likely source of the leak. There's no evidence that either she nor Lois had possession of the video. Um... So that's part of the filing, but they're saying a frankly deplorable video where he's kicking her head in and dragging her down the hot corridor. They're admitting it. Come on, people. Combs was recently indicted on, coerced, and accused of coerced and abused women for years of help with a network of associates and employers for silencing victims through blackmail, violent acts, including kidnapping, arson, and physical beatings. Just a quiet day at the office then. Just a quiet Thursday. What are you doing today, Diddy? Um, you're making some music? Well, you didn't really do much of that yourself, did you? Are you producing other people's music and not paying them much? Yeah, a bit of that. What else are you doing? A bit of blackmail, violent acts, including kidnapping, arson, physical beatings. Thank you. All right. What a lovely chap. Um, and they've expressed also a preference of when they want a trial. They want a quick trial. They want to go next spring, next summer, please. Well, that's going to entirely depend on the prosecution, isn't it? When do the feds want to get all their evidence together? Um has been held despite his lawyers offering 50 million and 30 uh, 30 million pounds of bail in in home detention yeah well yeah set to appear so we'll let you know if he does get that bail 
and all the rest of it. And I think we'll do a video on the music industry as a whole. There's a couple of good articles out there, so we'll come back and do one of those at some point in the next few days. Apart from that, yeah, give us a um, give us a little subscribe and all that stuff if you would please. That would be lovely. And we'll see you later. Uh, more. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more stuff coming out about this. I'm sure this isn't the end. So, um, yeah, Diddy McDiddler, etc. Allegedly. Horrible, isn't it? See you later.